Alright guys, it's Gaz here for MUFC Daily on Full Time Devils, bringing you all the latest Manchester United news and Manchester United fan community news. So, let's start today with a story that's been put out about Louis Van Gaal by the Daily Mail, and one that I don't really think is true. There's a shocker in it, a story that I don't think is true from the Daily Mail. Anyway, basically they've reported that, um, that a load of players are unhappy at Man United because they have to go for meetings before games. Genuinely. They're saying that under Sir Alex Ferguson and David Moyes, the day before a game, the players that have their tea, sorted, chill out for a bit, go to bed, get ready for the game. Apparently under Louis Van Aal, they've got to have their tea, then go for a meeting after it. I'm sorry, what? They're on about 100 grand a week, some of them. I very much doubt that the players are complaining about having to go for a meeting before the game. Absolute rubbish. What's happened here, in my opinion, is the Daily Mail, and loads of other articles have done it, loads of other newspapers have done it. Uh, they've seen that a lot of United fans are against Louis van Gaal and thought, I know what'll sell papers, I know what'll pe get people clicking on my links, we'll post a negative story about Louis van Gaal, because people who agree with a story are going to share it. That's just how it works. So they've seen that a lot of United fans seem to be against Louis van Gaal and aren't supporting the manager, and thought, right, let's put this story out, uh, I'm sure loads of people will click on it. And evidently, loads of people will click on this because loads of people want it to be true. That's just how it works, guys. And if you get behind the manager, it won't happen. But anyway, that's just my opinion getting in the way of it. Have your, have your own opinion. Say what you want. Um, anyway, moving on from that. Big news in the footballing world yesterday, uh, especially if you're associated with Man United, if you're a fan. Um, Gary Neville has joined Valencia as the manager. Now, that I completely didn't expect. Came out of left field, didn't it? Did not expect that at all yesterday. But for me, it's a great appointment for them. And I think Gary Neville will do a fantastic job. And you know what? I knew he was going to be a manager. I knew it because ever since he started on Sky Sports, I remember like three weeks after he started on Sky Sports, I was just chatting to Liverpool and City fans like in the pub and that. And they say to me, God, you know what, Gaz? Even I like Gary Neville. And I'm like, what? How can a Liverpool or City fan saying they like Gary Neville is the most bizarre thing in the world. So that is how much sense he speaks, that even they like him. So you know, he's definitely going to succeed. I've really got high hopes for him. And so does Sir Alex Ferguson as well. Sir Alex Ferguson has wished him and Phil all the best and says that Gary Neville has great... Uh, strong leadership abilities and he's not afraid to make the big decisions so I think he'll do well that's what Fergus said so best of luck to both of them I'm sure I joined all United fans in wishing them the best of luck and you never know one day Gary Neville Giggsy Trio managing United class of 92 in the back room could very well happen right moving on to transfer news Aubameyang I don't know how you pronounce his name um, I've heard all the commentators say it I just struggle when repeating it Good thing I don't have to talk for a living, innit? Um, anyway, yeah, this is the next player that we're linked to. The, uh, the Borussia Dortmund striker. Uh, he's in unbelievable form right now in Bundesliga. 22 goals in 18 games. He's 26 years old. And you know what? I think we could get him. I think he's a player that would be available in January if we put enough money in it. We'd have to spend big, but that's just the way football is now, isn't it? You've got to spend over the odds. You've got to spend more than what players are worth. That's just how it works. So I'd be quite happy to see us go all out for Obam... Bobby... Bobby Yang, yeah, that one. I hope we go all out for the Herb Russia Dortmund striker. He looks a real talent, but I am still clinging on to the hope of bringing Harry Kane in. Um, right, moving on from that, uh, do some sad news, actually. Uh, Dylan Samuels, who uh, a lot of you guys may have heard of, uh, he played he played in the academy um, despite suffering with cystic fibrosis. Unfortunately, he did pass away yesterday, aged 15, um, and everyone here sends their thoughts, and I'm sure that you guys will get in the comments below and send your thoughts to Dylan Samuels. Really, really sad news from a really brave and inspirational boy. Um, anyway, guys, this has been Gaz on MUFC Daily Full-Time Devils. Get your comments in below. Talk about anything that I've spoken about there. Um, maybe you want to say I'm wrong. Maybe you want to say I'm right. Do whatever. Either way, just give the video a like. Yeah, give us a subscribe. Nice one. I've been Gaz. See you in a bit. Well, let's get stuck in to the Daily United news anyway. And Ander Herrera is the first topic of the day.